Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to LA Best 2022. Isn't this fantastic being here together? I'm Judy Fortin. I'm Interim Chief of Communications for UCLA Health, and I am so happy to see all of you today. And I mean that, see all of you. Think about the last time we had a chance to get together like this. It's been a while. So we are so happy that you're here today. We have a wonderful program for you. And I want to tell you just a little bit about it before I welcome our first guest. So our program is made up of four tracks. The main track will take place right here in this ballroom. At 10 AM, the second floor will open to the Los Angeles Incubator Showcase, the UCLA Research Showcases, and Nucleate, UCLA PDA Program for Life Science Entrepreneurs. So we definitely have a very full day ahead of us, and we're so glad that you could be with us today. Those of you in the back, if you'd like to take a seat, come on, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So before we continue, UCLA acknowledges our presence on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Gabrielino, Tongva peoples. Now, it is my distinct honor to introduce UCLA Chancellor Jean Block, who has served this great institution since 2007, overseeing the tripartite mission of education, research, and service. An expert in neuroscience, his current research focuses on the effects of aging on the nervous system and how it impacts biological timing in mammals. We are so fortunate that you could join us here today, Chancellor Block, welcome. Thank you, Judy, for that introduction, and good morning, everyone, and it is great to see you in three dimensions. Uh, last year's event was wonderful, but there's no substitute for in-person events, so thank you for being here. So, you know, on behalf of UCLA, as I said, it's my pleasure to welcome all the members of the bioscience community. This is really a spectacular turnout this year, you know, from Los Angeles and far beyond. Some of you have come quite a ways to attend today. Uh, we're delighted to host this summit, and we're thrilled to recognize the incredible work of what's happening within our great city. So before I go further, I think it's proper to acknowledge and share my deepest sympathy with the families of the children killed in the senseless violence uh, at Robb Elementary School in Texas. It, you know, it stands in such stark contrast to the life-saving focus of much of the work uh, that represents the people in this room. It, it's uh, truly a sad event for us all in the, in the U.S. So all of us at UCLA are extremely excited about the quiet energy that continues to build around the biosciences here. I have no doubt in the years ahead that we could make this region one of the world's premier bioscience hubs. And there's ample reasons why this should happen in Los Angeles. First, the greater Los Angeles area draws an immense, immense strength from 18 million people. This is a huge urban area from every imaginable background. This really is, you know, we are the capital as I think our former uh, Los Angeles mayor said, we're the, we really are the capital of the Pacific Rim, and we should take advantage of that. LA is one of the most lively cities in the world, we all know this, with bright and talented people that simply want to live here because of the intellectual, cultural, culinary, and artistic uh, opportunities here. You know, this is where people are now moving to best express their art for entertainment. It is, it is truly the place where both uh, scholarship and great arts are uh, flourishing. Our region is a legacy for innovation spanning telecommunications, the health sciences, the aerospace industry, which is really born here in many ways, and other industries. So we really have been the, the focus of many important industries. We have access to capital, forward-thinking policies, and an innovative innovation economy. So I think we're well poised. And of course, this is home to some of the best institutions of higher education, which are all represented here today. Universities like my own institution, UCLA, USC, UC Irvine, Caltech, and the uh, Keck Graduate Institute, as well as hospitals such as the City of Hope and Cedar sinai are places where the finest minds of this, our generation grapple with some of the most complex problems we face. So we really have the intellectual capital that we need to be a leader. Excellent work happens on our campuses and classrooms and labs, we all know that, but it also happens uh, outside of them, off campus, where researchers expand the impact of their work by taking their innovations to market. So, you know, we have to be a city, we're a think and do city. We can do, we can do the, the thinking, but we also have the doing. We have to bring our knowledge to applications. We have to make our knowledge work, and we do that. There are countless examples. Just look at UCLA's urologic surgeon, Ari Beldegren, 
who founded Allergene Therapeutics, or chemist Michael Young and physician Charles Sawyers, who developed the blockbuster prostate cancer drugs, Early Ada and Extandi. And those are just a few examples of scientists, clinicians, bringing their work to uh, practice. A boon for our region uh, is that the greater Los Angeles area, I would say this, unlike Boston or San Francisco, has the real estate to house new companies. You only have to fly over Los Angeles and see miles and miles of warehouses and space to recognize that we can accommodate, we can accommodate industries much better than many other cities that are much more compact. Our ecosystem uh, is growing in Culver City. We have Appia Bio in El Segundo. We have Kite in Thousand Oaks. We have Amgen in Camarillo. We have Impact. And the list goes on and on. So companies are finding space here in Los Angeles to develop. Some say that Los Angeles is a transient place where people come, they're creative, and then they move on and create opportunities in other, other cities. But there's plenty of hard science in this room that proves that this city can be the destination, a place uh, with the academic infrastructure, the capital, the talent, the creativity, and the effort needed to become a nucleus of innovation. The world should know that Los Angeles is open for business, and Los Angeles is open for the biosciences. So once again, welcome to LabBest. I know this will be an exciting day as, we spot, as you spotlight much of the new research and advances. So I hope all of you enjoyed the sessions, and I'm eager to see how every member of this community will contribute to the bright future of LA Biosciences. Thank you for being here. Take care. Thank you so much, Chancellor Block. It's great to see you in person. So a few housekeeping items before we get going. Throughout the conference, each of you will have access to Jujama. It's a mobile application that provides event resources and networking opportunities right in the palm of your hand. How many of you are using it, by the way? Show of hands. All right, good, great, so it works here. There's also a Zoom link that's been sent to you so that you can watch this event anywhere you happen to be in the building, um, the events that are happening here in the ballroom. So please take advantage of that as well. We've got a lot of people who've shown up today. And a reminder that attendees should keep their masks on the entire time they're indoors, except when actively eating or drinking. Uh, masks are available also, by the way, at the information desk if you need another one or if you know someone who needs one. I know you just had your breakfast, but let me say a word about what's going to happen at lunch today. Um, when lunch rolls around, we'll have three different seatings beginning at 11.30, then 12.30, and then 1.30, and that's because of limited capacity. Um, of course, we'll ask you to take your food outdoors, and please stick to your eating times if you can. You've been given a wristband, and the color corresponds with your lunch time. Um, we've tried to keep it simple for you, but now that I say it, it sounds a little confusing. So so if you have any questions, ask at the front desk. We're also going to be giving away some very nice prizes today. And let's go ahead and we'll start with that first prize. Some of you should have gotten a ticket when you checked in. So we're going to have Mark Wisniewski come up. He's our Senior Director of Biopharmaceuticals at UCLA Technology Development Group, TDG. You'll hear about that a lot today. He's going to draw our first ticket. All right, pull out the tickets. You want me to read it? All Thank right, you. it's 496-079, 496-079. All right, come on up, you've got a winner. And I'll turn it over to Mark now. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Judy and Chancellor Block. Welcome back to LA Best. What an incredible turnout. It's this represents why LA is evolving and transforming into a premier bioscience ecosystem. I'm going to be short because really LA Best today is to showcase the best and the brightest. It's the people who are leading research programs, startups. They're the next generation of entrepreneurs. So today, I invite you to explore the second floor. We've reserved all of the Luskin Center. So don't be shy. Explore, engage, and collaborate. Because this is what's going to lead to the next generation of therapies for patients, which what it's all about. And so again, we have over two dozen professor spotlights. We have eight research themes. We have six incubators showcasing over 18 startups. And we also have the Nucleate and UCLA Postdoc Association showcase on the second floor. So again, explore, engage, and collaborate. And I want to give a heartfelt thank you to the UCLA team, the LA Best Steering Committee, and the sponsors, because 
God knows we couldn't have done this without you. It's, um, it's a massive undertaking, and it's worth it. So at this point, I'd like to introduce Roshna Kosla, Senior Vice President of Business Development at Amgen, and one of the first sponsors of LA Best who have been with us in, as an innovator sponsor ever since, and for her opening remarks. Thank you.